I didn't think we were traveling unless we crossed an ocean. We were in the Navajo Nation in Arizona, portions of French Louisiana and Lafayette. I highly recommend not just this life, but travel. Hi, I'm Bobby. I'm Shannon. And this is our rig. It's uh, by Grand Design Transcend. It's about a 35 footer. If you want, let's uh, get inside and see what it's all about. So welcome into our rig. Um, we're in the kitchen right now. Bobby did the um, backsplash, which I really love. I thought it added some character to the kitchen. And then we actually have a lot of storage. Um, when we first moved into the rig, I was like, we get one pot, we get two plates and two cups, and that's it. Well, we actually have a lot more room than that. Um, we keep most of our pots down here. We have a tiny little oven that doesn't work that great. Um, we mostly use the stove top for cooking. The stove and the oven are propane. Um, so we have two uh, propane tanks up front, runs our hot water and um, the kitchen. Um, we also have an Instapot that is a must have in the RV <laughs> um, and a microwave that works like normal. Um, I'm always surprised because a lot of people think that we eat out like it's always vacation, but we actually do a lot of cooking in the RV. Our fridge is pretty small but you can see it's not that organized, but it works. Um, we use the freezer a lot for um, leftovers, stuff like that. It's empty right now, but... <laughs> so our fridge is um, 12 volt. It runs off our two batteries. Um, it works great. Like we've had no issues whatsoever. We um, have parked the rig um, in storage and forgot to turn it off and it was still running and everything was still refrigerated when we came back, so... <laughs> So I really like our kitchen sink. Um, you know, it's got plenty of room for the dishes. Um, we're a little guilty sometimes they pile up. Um, so there's plenty of room in there. Um, I like this. Uh, one of the RV salesmen told us, hey, it's just like a residential um, sink. Well, yeah, it, it is. And that's pretty cool. So we use this space up here um, to mostly keep our breads, um, any tortillas, things like that. We stuff them up here. I love plants. So I've got little air plants scattered all over the RV, some back there. The other thing that I've really enjoyed is this extra counter space. And down here below it, we have a shoe rack, which is one thing that we haven't found in many RVs. So I loved that. Plenty of space to stuff them away. Um, this table, it'll seat about four people if you're really friendly. So we typically um, will eat our meals in here unless, you know, it's nice weather and we'll eat outside. Um, we watch a lot of TV at night. It does collapse down into a bed um, and the sofa pulls out as well to make a double bed. So we've had about, I think the most we had was seven people um, kind of crammed in here. So our couch pulls out to a double bed. Um, this whole thing is a slide out. We only have one slide out in this RV, but it is this whole half right here. So I love the light that comes in. Um, sometimes I wish we had more, but the windows are great um, just to bring in the natural light and help it feel more open. We've been RVing ever since uh, November of uh, 2021. 21. And uh, it's it's been very eye-opening. I mean, there's so many people that uh, that I've heard that I've talked about that the United States, no matter where you go, it's all the same. Well, the great thing about it being the same is the currency, but everything else is, is it's so crazy how different just another block could be from where you're at. Uh, I highly recommend not just this life, but travel in general, because it gives you so many experiences that you wouldn't have in your living room or in your kitchen. One thing that I've really noticed is before COVID, I didn't think we were traveling unless we crossed an ocean. Um, but this life, we've gotten to see so much of the US and just seen all the diversity. Like we were in the Navajo Nation in Arizona um, we went to French, portions of French Louisiana and Lafayette, um, just all over the diversity and just how unique the United States really is. And coming from Chicago, I mean, I saw uh, city life, suburb life, but then going to Colorado, 
and seeing the rodeos and what the kids go through it's amazing i mean just different walks of life and just how we, we are all connected in this great great country Welcome to the office. This is uh, the continuation from the living room. Um, this actually right here used to be a full bed. I completely gutted this whole section out. I reframed it and I put this in. I have a little storage underneath here. We keep books and papers and such, uh, but tons of storage. Of course, we've housed someone up here as far as uh, for the weekends and stuff to sleep. Within the office, I have uh, Starlink set up to where it's on a telescopic pole and the wire comes right into the ceiling, feeds in, and then we usually have the router right on the side. So go going through a lot of our uh, different rigs, I mean, we, we looked at Jayco, we looked at a lot of different um, RVs and we saw this one and what really got our attention was we could turn this bedroom into an office just like what we did. And of course the uh, door being able to be closed. So that way, if there's any meetings or anything, we just close it up and you know, the other person could enjoy some peace and quiet. This office really just kind of like, there's so much we could do with it. So coming into the RV, you notice the control panel right here. Shannon's little sister actually bought us a checklist, an RV checklist, and you could actually change all these little things out. Um, it's very handy. I mean, because you know, you go through the steps in your head and it's like, did I forget anything? Well. Now you have something to where you just easily, hey, I did do that. Um, but if you're not by yourself, you have your significant other, it seems like everyone has their role. We we have buttons to where it's going to tell you all the different levels of the fresh water, black water, um, our gray. They last us, I would say, a little over a week. Um, if we're taking showers while we're boondocked, we two minute showers. Whenever we go on vacation to a hotel room, if you're in the shower longer than five minutes, it's definitely a vacation. We have dual water heaters. So we do have gas and electric. Uh, they work great. We had uh, an extra battery put in since the fridge works on the battery. And it's, it, I'd, I'd recommend that as a addition to any RV. Now we're in the uh, bathroom. Um, <laughs> we started looking at RVs, it was interesting because you would think that is a really small bathroom. Uh, the one nice thing about uh, this rig with the bathroom is you have a ceramic toilet. Um, we have a nice uh, shower. I switched the head out in the shower um, and it's got a lot better pressure. We have plenty of um, space in here for storage. We have a nice vanity mirror. I guess the one thing that uh, we would want to switch is as far as what the wife is telling me to do is to um, put a little backsplash in, but we're trying to um, figure out what we want to do from that. So in 2020, um, we started traveling uh, for Bobby's job. We were living primarily out of hotel rooms and we were just looking at different options and we landed on RVs just because like we'd never been RVing. This was the first time we'd even really been in one. Oh, we've been tent camping a lot. Right. We've been tent camping for years, but we'd never done RVing and we were driving through this field of wildflowers in Colorado and I was like, this is freaking awesome. Let's get an RV. And we did. <laughs> We, I mean, we looked at different RVs and there's so many different models out there. It, it's really what you need um, is going to land you what you like, but check them all out. Check out different options if you're considering because it's definitely worth it or rent one out first before you do. A lot of people like our, you know, people we've encountered and some of our friends have been like, well, what's it really like living in an RV? And it's just a small house i mean they're surprised that we have hot water or heat or air conditioning it's like we're not living in a cardboard box the hardest thing i could say as far as with the transition is purging and how much you have to get rid of um we actually have a uh i know we kind of cheated we actually have a garage full of stuff that we didn't want to get rid of but i mean it's a lot of nice pots and everything we, <laughs> we wanted to keep uh and memory stuff i got a lot of my military stuff still but 
that that would probably be the hardest is uh, just trying to figure out what you need, what you want to keep. So we're in our bedroom. Um, it's a, actually a queen size bed. Um, we did replace the mattress because the one that came with it was about this thick. Um, so we got a foam mattress off Amazon. I highly recommend that. We have storage on both sides. So we have two uh, AC units in our rig. One is in here and then the other one's in the main portion of the living space. Um, we did change out these lights. When we first moved in, they were sort of blinding. Um, but Bobby installed ones that are dimmers, so you can kind of change that up. So there's obviously two windows in here. We typically keep um, blackout material in here because we like it nice and dark when we sleep. So on the other side of the bedroom over here, um, we have our little closet. That was one thing I really liked about this rig. Um, a lot of them don't have any closet space. Um, we have two drawers, more clothes in here. And then the mattress will actually flip up and there's a bunch of storage underneath it. Um, for larger items. It seems like we don't have a lot of storage um, for our clothes, but it's actually worked out really well. We are outside the rig, uh, right outside our uh, kitchen right here. What's nice is with these doors, they do have the magnets, so it's very nice and easy to open up. We do have our little uh, I'd say dorm fridge uh, holds a lot of the uh, waters and, and sodas and stuff that, would, you know, whenever you're outside, you just quickly grab. Great storage over here. So if you want to put any additional alcohol or anything in here that you need for outside cooking, you can. Um, major complaint that I have is this is a uh, stovetop. And I think a grill would be a lot easier out here, better. So that's one thing more likely I'm going to be switching out. But as far as outside kitchen, um, it's a great addition and um, you could easily put a table right beside and, and have a grill right there as well too. So moving up from the kitchen, uh, we're over on the side right here where um, we have a plug. We could actually put another TV out here. Um, usually if we're outside, we're not watching TV, we're out and about. Uh, one thing we do want to note that's helpful if you do own an RV um, or even just in your vehicle, if your vehicle doesn't have a, uh, a tire pressure monitoring system, uh, is we have the Lippert uh, tire link and it's, uh, you got little sensors, you just put them on your tire and uh, you connect it to an app or there is a device as well and it'll actually beep while you're up, up front and it'll warn you on tire pressure, it'll warn you on um, on temperature as well so if it gets too hot uh, it is great especially when you're traveling one less thing you have to worry about like hey how do i look back there our home base is in southern illinois um, but we travel a lot we started out traveling a lot for um, bobby's job and uh, it took us to colorado and then arizona and Along the way, we've just kind of branched out. We've taken trips, um, side trips, weekend trips, and it's just been really awesome. I can't recommend it enough. And I hate to say it, but COVID, it, it was horrible, but it actually boomed remote work. There's so many people that are remote right now, um, enjoying their office, wherever their office may be, but it's just, awesome that we have the technology in order to allow people to work remote. Uh, Starlink, like we said, um, our hotspots, uh, we use T-Mobile. T-Mobile's got a great network. And uh, because of that, yeah, we've been able to experience life like none other. I started a travel blog in 2017, just covering all of our vacations and stuff. And then it, you know, it's branched into RV life. And we've gotten to do so much just like Parks have invited us to come and stay um, and cover their, their new park. Um, we've worked with all kinds of different RV-based companies. It's just opened new doors and it's been so cool. Thank you for uh, joining us and uh, appreciate you guys all being here. Um, you can catch our, our life on our website, uh, snorkelsandsnowpants.com. Uh, but stay tuned and uh, enjoy all the rest of the shows that you'll see in the future. And hopefully one day you'll be on there too. See you on the road.